accordingly for all you could export me according to his power Go ye 
all the world and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We were obedient this morning with the Mill Spring uh, Baptist Church and uh, took them to the water. Certainly we're thankful for Brother Larry, Jerry and his wife, and the deacons at Mill Spring for opening the door of the church. Yeah. We could go in and the food was ready. All I had to do, we had to do, was just go through a uh, process, procedure of uh, what we're supposed to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. So God is good, and let's uh, give God a praise for this new country. Amen. Now he's going to be, we're going to be, you may be seated, young people. We're going to have our secretary to uh, get his uh, certificate, baptism certificate together, so we'll be able to present it to him on next Sunday, amen? Amen. amen. He'll have it, and it's just like getting your driver's license. Drive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say that you've been to the water, been baptized, your soul has been converted. Amen. Amen. Now you feel all right and wash in the master's hand. Amen. 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 Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Amen. So certainly we thank God for our young people and all of our singers today for being in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. God bless you. It is our prayer. For a wet chapel. Amen. 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 This is again. Response and greeting. I want to thank Sister Kyra for our book this morning. Amen. 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 It takes a lot of Take some effort to get the program together for Sunday morning. She put it together and we thank God for her time and effort as she pulled it to getting our photos ready for Sunday morning. Let us keep our programs, amen. amen. Those of you you have to look for a program on Sunday morning, I wanted you to have your hand now. Keep it. Amen. Amen. Preserve. Uh, we don't go through the process of putting it together just for just throw it around, lay it on the pew, and that's it. But uh, just like your drive by your cell phone, keep your bulletin with you. Amen. 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 So you have it next Sunday. You want to worry about Mr. T or Brother Usher trying to get us our bulletin. Amen. 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 O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set the glory above the heavens. Amen. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained. What is his name? That thou art mindful of him, and the Son of Man, that thou visit him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor.
Y'all forgive us how you eat a little breath, and we're going to get back into the groove of things.
morning from the stalk, things to remember. Things to remember. There are a lot of things in life we are, and we as a people, remember very well. We remember how to say little things when we are first born, such as mama, daddy. We remember how uh, to sit up and crawl, and then walk, and then we can run. We remember how to eat our food, which uh, uh, which hand to use to hold our silverware. We remember how to go to the bathroom to relieve ourselves. We remember who uh, our aunts and uncles are, cousins and friends. This all is a part of one's gift from God. Him giving us a faculty, our faculties to remember. I know you might say that these are things that come naturally. Yes, these are things that come naturally to the majority of us, but some people don't have the use of their limbs. Some folk can even think for themselves. I'm not going to leave them out because God has a purpose for them too. And I would say that it is a privilege to be able to have the activities of our faculty. Amen. If there be nothing else, my brothers and my sisters, remember in my message today, there are things, there are three things that I would like to share with you today. God, Creator, and the Savior. Amen. These wise saying of the preacher Solomon still holds true today. Amen. First, he points out to us a call to the young people to think of God and mind a duty to him. Amen. Is that right? Amen. When they are young. Right. Young folk, today I'm just speaking briefly to let you know, remember that God is the one that created you. Amen. Amen. He's the one that's keeping you. That's right. We're supposed to worship him in spirit and in truth. We are to lift him up wherever we are. Wherever we go. We are to be a witness for the Lord. Today you are up there singing Zion's song. Dressed in your beautiful color. All together being on one accord. Amen. Just want you to know you're not here just to sing, but you're here to sing as well as to praise. In order to let the Holy Spirit come on and move in you to let us know that you believe in the Savior, the, 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 the God of our salvation. Can I get a witness? These wise saying, Solomon wanted us to know directly from God that God is your deliverer. Oh, yes. He is the one that, that holds you up, uh -huh. gives you the strength to go from day to day. Amen. You that are young, flatter yourselves with great expectation of great things from the world. Amen. Now I stick a pen there. The world doesn't have a whole lot to offer us. Right. I've lived long enough to know that whatever the world presents to you is not going to last. Right. It's not the real thing that 
we are looking for. That's right. That's right. The real thing that man is looking for is to have a relationship with God. Amen. May I say that again? The real deal that people, humans, are looking for is to have a relationship with God. And you know, my brothers and my sisters, when you get away from having a relationship with God, you have an empty spot in your life. Man is seeking out the way to be happy. Can I get a witness? We all try to find a way. Let me re let me rephrase that. Not we all, because we already know what makes us happy. And having a relationship with God. But the world is trying to find a way of being happy within. Man walked away from God. Man walked away from his creator. Adam and Eve, amen. God had already given them the victory over life. But they sought out their own pathway. Man is still seeking his own pathway. Amen. Whether it be material things, yeah. sexuality, uh -huh. yeah. drugs, uh -huh. or whatever there is or might be. Uh -huh. Man is trying to find his way in life. Right. The Bible says that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. Is that right? Uh -huh. Just because it seemed right for me to go marry another man doesn't make it right. Just because it seemed right for a woman to marry another woman doesn't make it right. But God has given man the way to live. He written it down in his book that we read, Amen, which is the Holy Bible. 66 Amen. books. Yes. Started off in the book of Genesis and he, he created man, man to do what God wanted man to do. Right. Isn't that good news? Yes, sir. That we have a God who rules and super rules. Yes, sir. Who has given us the way to live in this world. Amen. All right. Man has brought calamities upon himself. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Amen. On yesterday, uh, our president emeritus was shot in the ear. He said, "At least I saw blood running down." But my brothers and sisters, man has got all kinds of twists and turns to do what he wants to do. We 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 we're, we're caught. The world is caught up in all of this craziness. Every time we turn our television, radios, or whatever on, we get a whole lot of mess. But in order for us to be delivered from this mess, we need to go back to the messenger. I think I need to say that again. We, we, we need to go back to the messenger who wrote the message. And his name is God. Amen. We return here, return there, when when this doesn't satisfy us, we go and find something else. And when that doesn't satisfy us, we always go to find something else. Man is not satisfied living without God. Say that one more time, Pastor. Man is not satisfied without living without God. How can you be satisfied with your creator sitting over here and you sitting over there and there's no communication? We got a brother, brother Lucky, we have that battery in our vehicle. Uh -huh. We have the positive and the negative on the battery. Yeah. If those don't come together, we won't go nowhere in our vehicle. Yeah. Fire will not transfer in the engine, amen? Yeah. So if there's no communication, I'm trying to help somebody. Yeah. If there's no communication between God and you, your life will not be the way it was planned. We have to plan our lives around God's Amen. life. Amen. 
How can I say that? Because he's the one that breathed breath into our body. He's the one that allows us to be able to go to and fro. So we need to remember God. Not one day, but every day. For he is the creator. Is that right? Why, why, how, how, how can you say he's the creator? Because the Bible says that God scooped dust up from the earth. He didn't scoop dust, dirt, he scooped dust. And dust is much lighter than dirt. And he scooped dust up and created a body. Not only created a body, but the body was just laying there until God decided to breathe into that body and that body became a living soul. Simple as that sound, as simple as it is, men have walked away from the Creator. They, were, they, they forgot about all that they have in their lives. It doesn't take a whole lot to be happy in life. It doesn't take a whole lot of folks around you to be happy in life. We need to remember the creator. We need to remember what he's already done in our lives. We need to remember that he is the Alpha and he is the Omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. Can I get a witness? So we need to remember that God is the one that created us. He created us to be a man praises us, a man in his army. Amen. He created us, created us that we'll be able to carry his name throughout the world. Amen. To let a dying soul know that he is a God and he's God all by himself. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I have a God in my life. Amen. I don't just have any God, but I have Jehovah God. Amen. The beginner, the one that's, but that, 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 was, that was there before there was a wife when all there. He, 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 was, he was all, the Bible said that the, the, the world was just a big, 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 big boy. But, but God stepped in and started creating and saying, let there be. Amen. Let there be, let there be, let there be. But he didn't stop there until he got, got with us. Yeah. And when we when he got with us, we were a heartbreak to God. Amen. Is that right? Because we want to do our own thing. Amen. Satan has got folks all confused today. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Satan is telling people that it's all right to do your own thing. Amen. But you know, when you start doing your own thing, you know, when hell comes up in your life, you don't know where else to turn. Yeah. Trouble comes in your life, you don't know where to run to. Yeah. When your body gets weak and you, and you can't do for yourself, yeah. you, you, you're going to run back to God. Yeah. When God, we say God should be mad at us, but God is not, not like you and I. Yeah. You started bringing up your lights and say, you remember when you did this and you remember when you did that. That's what God is doing to you. He's punishing you. But how do you know God is punishing somebody? Well, you need to say that the God that created you, he's able to heal your body. Saying God is able to give you a man to want to run on in his name. And uh, let me share this with you. When God touch your life and touch your body, you ought to tell somebody that the God I serve, he just keeps on looking after me. And when I was so bad and I couldn't find my way, I took pause and said, Lord, have mercy on me. Let's go words, Lord, have mercy on me. And all God is doing is trying to get your attention and trying to tell you, you need to come back uh, to the pathway of righteousness. Yeah, you can walk in your own pathway, but I want to let you know, children, uh, until you remember from whence you came, uh, and if you don't get back in line, uh, you're going to catch hell all the rest of your life. What I'm trying to say is, all God wants you to do is remember your
your creator and the one that allow you to go to bed and sleep at night. The one that's watching over you all night long. He wants you to remember he's the one that allowed the blood to run warm through your veins. He wants you to remember that he's the one that allow you to have food on your table. He's the one that allow you to have clothes on your back.
Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, your Savior. Yes. He's coming back after his church. Yes. A lot of folk don't believe that, but I believe he's coming back. Yes. In these days and times. Well, my brothers and sisters, I've done, we've done as the Lord requires us to do. To assemble ourselves in this presence with other brothers and sisters. Amen. Getting ready now to go down from this place, but never from God's presence. Amen. And certainly we thank God for early rising this morning. Amen. And our young man that was baptized this morning, Amen. my heart is overjoyed. Amen. Just made that step, and we're happy now. Let us get ready. Any other thing on our heart? Let us stand. God. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the community and fellow believers, it is with great pleasure and enthusiasm that I stand before you today representing Weir Chapel MB Church. Our humble church, situated in the heart of Weir, Mississippi, has been a beacon of hope, faith, and community for decades. Today, I come before you to share an exciting endeavor that we are embarking upon, the Rising Building Fund for Weir Chapel MB Church. Our aim is to take a transformative step towards enhancing our cherished place of worship, a place that holds deep significance for all of us. P. As we look towards the future, the need for a renovated and improved church building has become increasingly evident. Our building fund endeavor is not simply about bricks and mortar, it represents a commitment to strengthening the very foundation upon which our community is built. It is about ensuring that our church remains a sanctuary of solace, a hub of spiritual growth and a haven for all.